Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Kingdom Martin Cross Nation and for today's video we're going over a brand new medal that came out in the JP version of the game that we're going to be receiving fairly soon in global and, and we'll, we'll, we'll jump straight into it. Uh, we are going to be receiving the Tune Nominee Medal. This is our first Power Upright Forwards Copy Medal in the entire game. Now this is something we've been needing for the longest time. One, because of the fact that it's literally the last attribute version of copy metal that we've been needing in the game. Literally power upright forward copy is the only thing we did not have just yet. But the second reason is because of the fact that it finally answers uh, a lot of the situations that we've been facing with certain Keyblades. On the treasure trove, you can finally go ahead and start using complete reverse strategies uh, for the treasure trails. On the Olympia, we can finally go ahead and do a pure speed setup if we really wanted to. Now, just keep in mind that normally slots three and four are the strongest slots for the Olympia, although that is, it shouldn't be that too big of a deal just because of the fact that it is a tier eight cop medal which is the highest tier in the game at the moment. So whatever it's copying, it, it's going to be doing the max damage that that metal it's copying could do, or if even better, it'll do more damage because the metal you're copying might be a lower tier. So either way, it's still a win-win situation. Next up is the Mugo of Glory, and this one has to be by far the best Keyblade that Toon Nominee helps address and fix, which is because of the fact that for the longest time, the, the Mugo Glory is more or less kind of meant to be used as a kind of like reverse Keyblade, uh, but for the longest time we couldn't because of that power upright slot. It was either that you used slot four over here to copy the power upright slot and you used a uh, and you use the Riku replica copy metal right here to copy slot two. So you basically had to make, turn it into a sort of um, power keyblade, but it wasn't like pure reverse um, or, a, or a like a power upright and magic upright keyblade. But like you never had, you can never do a pure reverse version of the keyblade if you really wanted to. However, with two nominated, like it shows here on the screen, you can finally go ahead and do a pure reverse Keyblade setup that's not magic reverse, I should add, if you really wanted to. Um, because two nominee over here will copy whatever power reverse metal you have here. The illustrated dust copies this slot. Uh, nominee over here copies this slot, and then you have whatever buffer debuffer metal, maybe like a Kyrie Shion EX Plus in slot one. For Stroke of Midnight, Toon Nominee kind of helps it. It's honestly not that necessary to use Toon Nominee for Stroke of Midnight uh, because of the fact that you would only want to use her in slot one, in which case you might as well just use a Kairi Shoni X Plus in slot one instead. But let's say you have a four teller metal like the Ava EX Plus metal, for example, you can use Ava EX Plus right here in slot two and you would ha be able to use Nominee to copy her in slot two and then you can basically just make it a magic upright setup for Stroke of Midnight. Fenrir receives a bit of an upgraded buff to the Keyblade as well because now you can actually go more of a power reverse setup for the Keyblade as well. Uh, granted, excluding slot one for the uh, main buffer metal that you use right there, you will have to use a power upright metal right here in slot two before you can go pure reverse. Uh, for the rest of the slots, but depending on your metals, especially if you're using a stained glass number seven metal, the Terra one, that will provide both power and reverse buffs and debuffs anyway, so that wouldn't really be, be big of a deal. Fairy Star is pretty much at the same type of situation as the Stroke of Midnight, in which case you you can use the two nominee right here in slot one, all you, though you don't really need to because it is slot one, and you can just put a main buffer debuffer metal in slot one instead, like Kyrie Shion EX Plus. Two nominee definitely helps out the Dark Knight a significant amount, just because of the fact that now you can actually go with using just power reverse metals. Um, of course, the Dark Knight has always been able to do a power reverse setup. However, in the past, you kind of had to use Key Art Sky if you didn't have a good power 
upright metal to put in slot two in which case it's going to be it's just going to be copying your main buffer debuffer metal slot one which is not always what you actually want to happen especially if you have like a Kyrie shown ex plus there's no need to copy a Kyrie shown ex plus um so putting the uh key art sky is kind of redundant and pointless um uh, and this is where the tune nominee metal really helps out because now you can actually use her in slot two, copy whatever damage metal you have in slot three, and they could just continue on with the rest of your power reverse metals. So out of all of the Keyblades, Dark Gnaw and Moogle of Glory definitely received the biggest buffs in terms of setups and now that we finally have the two nominee power upright forward copy metal. And in terms of whether or not this metal is worth chasing for, I will say yes, by all means, if you can, try and get this metal it's been one thing i've been advocating for ever like for the entirety of this channel but copy metals are literally by far the best metals in the entire game okay i do not care if a supernova ex plus plus door to darkness metal comes out tomorrow <laughs> that does like that has a multiplier of a thousand and does everything okay i don't care all right skip it and wait until two nominee comes out guarantee your copy of two nominee now in the jp version of the game it is a five mercy pull metal okay with each pull guaranteed a tra trait metal for the metal as well so that's honestly really nice uh that's something we couldn't really have for some of the previous for most of the previous uh copy metals as well so just being able to have the chance to have uh extra attack on the copy metal is honestly super super useful and important so if there's ever a time to pull guys it's for this metal okay this is definitely a metal you have to go for all right like just make sure like i'm barely at 13k jewels I'm, i'll probably reach 15k when this metal comes out and i'm just blowing them away on this on this banner immediately it is by far going to be one of the most important metals we've received in quite a long time but other than that that's it for today guys if you enjoyed the episode please would like subscribe and hit that bell button it is the best way i know when to upload more videos such as this one uh just a quick update uh sorry if i'm being a little bit scarce with the videos uh i am currently working on the website i'm working on the tutorial section of the website at the moment um as you can see here i'm getting ready to kind of have all of the different topics set up so that way anybody who's new to the game or or maybe you are unsure about certain aspects of the game rather than continuously asking other people because i know a lot of things for the game uh, in terms of like how to play and stuff like that aren't really just straight up in any specific location on the internet um, I'm looking for this to kind of be the central hub for anybody who's new to the game you can send them straight to my website to this section and you will basically be able to learn and understand all aspects of the game uh, in order to play and you won't really have to ask anybody about questions about how certain things work anymore okay you can literally go straight to these pages you'll be able to watch some of my videos and i'll also have them written up as articles and stuff too um so it's 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 gonna take a long time you might see me posting some videos now and then that are kind of fairly obvious but but if that's the case it's probably most likely going to be for my website purposes because i am going to be embedding my videos into my website for tutorials and stuff like that because there's are there are a lot of people that learn through visual cues like myself as much as i i don't mind reading things um i prefer a video over anything else and i know there's gonna be a lot of people like that so it's going to take a lot of work for me to get this completed um but you guys will start seeing a crap ton of very basic beginner tutorial type videos very soon okay i'm currently in the works of putting it together uh as you can see right here i kind of have the player the pvp in progress button kind of set up and that's just because of the fact that i pretty much have almost all of the pvp material videos and stuff up already um so i'm currently working on that page and at least have that up but after i finish making that i will start working on some of the other things that i know you guys have voted on in the polls that i've been having here on youtube but yeah i'm looking forward to having a finish and i hope it helps a lot of you guys out
Remember, if you want to help show your support for the channel and everything I do for you guys, uh, I do have a link to my Patreon in the description down below, as well as the fact I do have a donation tab on my website as well. Uh, a lot of things that I create and make for you guys does take a lot of time and effort on my part. It's not something I can put up in, you know, overnight. Uh, it takes a lot of effort. On top of the fact that I am trying to make this my full-time job and the revenue from AdSense for YouTube is absolute crap. So anything you guys can do to help support me is honestly super appreciated. <laughs> but other than that, I hope you guys have a nice day. My name is Brian from Kinemart Cross Nation and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.